Meet Kelly. Kelly is a college student studying social work. She has a heart for serving and wants to get a job in behavioral health care as a direct support professional. She wants to get hands-on experience, make some extra money, and help others in need. Kelly gets a job and immediately loves the work, the connections she's making with clients, the non-traditional work environment, and her coworkers. Kelly continues the job through college, but knows that the pay is barely above minimum wage and that no benefits will be offered. Within a few months, Kelly's stress level begins to rise. She realizes that turnover is pretty high. People can't stay in the job and earn a decent living to support their families. This affects her when she is asked to work overtime every week to cover open shifts while she finishes her last semester of school. Her coworkers tell her that the wages have been frozen for at least two years, and funding has been cut at the county level, causing some additional programs to close. Kelly stays in the job until six months after she graduates, but ultimately finds the work unsustainable and leaves to become a case manager at another nonprofit organization. Kelly might not have been a lifetime employee at her first social services job, but here are some things that might have helped Kelly engage in her job for a longer period of time. One, better communication from management. Negative news happens often in the human services industry, but the way it is communicated matters. A face-to-face -face meeting goes a long way towards maintaining staff morale compared to an email or a memo. Two, training certification programs to make Kelly a more valuable employee. It's better to make your employees more skilled and educated and risk losing them than it is to not provide trainings and have them remain stagnant in their career development. Three, Incentives for staying at the organization. The more fluid workforce of the 21st century is not willing to wait around to realize the benefits of increased PTO accrual or vesting. Provide considerable bonuses every one to two years and get creative. Maybe year one is transportation reimbursement and year two is tuition reimbursement. Four. Regular supervision to talk through issues. The gold standard for one-on-one -on -one supervision is 30 minutes once per week with each employee. You may find reasons that this does not work logistically in your organization, but don't let that stop you from providing any one-on-one -on -one time altogether. To achieve results through relationship, you must do something. Five, sustainable funding to pay workers a living wage. This is not a matter of greed or entitlement. This is an issue of human sustainability. If your organization serves people with severe and persistent mental illness who are homeless, and your direct care workers pay doesn't cover their basic needs, how helpful can your employees be when they are experiencing the same issues as the people they serve?